Hey guys, today we're going to learn about the factored form of quadratic equations. Similar to how a quadratic equation can be written in either the vertex form or the standard form, sometimes the quadratic equation can be written in yet another form, known as the factored hmm. form. Now, the factored form looks like this. So, let's say we have a quadratic equation written in the standard form like this. Okay, so this equation factors into y equals x minus 4 multiplied by x plus 3. If you've already watched our factoring quadratic equations video, you would already know how to factor this. If you didn't, however, we encourage you to pause this video and watch that one first so that you know exactly how we got from here to here. Okay, so notice how by factoring this, we've landed upon the factored form already. Now, if we compare this to the general equation, then we see that our a is equal to 1, our r is equal to 4, and our s is equal to negative 3. So, what's awesome about the factor form is that the r and the s provides us with the roots, or shall I say, the zeros of the graph. Let's think about what this means using the equation and a graphical representation. So, let's explore a bit and think about what would happen if x is equal to 4. What does that mean for the value of y overall? Well, if x was equal to 4, then 4 minus 4 is equal to 0 and 0 would be multiplying with whatever this equates to. Notice how I'm not too interested in having to plug in 4 over here to find out that it equates to 7. And why? Well, anything multiplied with 0 will equal to 0. So the beauty about this equation is that now we know that one of the points on this parabola must be 4, 0 just by looking at the factored form. Similarly, I can immediately realize that if x equals negative 3, then y would equal 0, because this part now equals 0, and 0 times anything is 0. So, we'd have ourselves another point at negative 3 and 0. So notice how we found two points on the graph where the y value was 0. This is what we mean by the fact that the factored form is capable of helping us to find the zeros. So if we bring back the general equation, we can see that at a glance, r0 and s0 will be two points on the graph. Great! And as usual, the a over here helps us to realize if the graph is pointing upwards with a minimum vertex, or downwards with a maximum vertex. If A is positive, then we're looking at a graph that opens upwards. If A is negative, then we're looking at a graph that opens downwards. So in our example that we have here, our A is positive 1. So we can tell that the graph will be pointing upwards with a minimum vertex and will generally look like the graph that we have drawn here. Therefore, the factored form of a quadratic formula can give us the general idea of what the graph will look like by providing us with the zeros of the graph and the direction. And we say general idea because although we have this information, we still do not know for sure how wide or narrow the graph is and where exactly the vertex lies using the factored form. Awesome! So. That's the end of this one, and we will see you in the next lesson.